Good morning, guys. show you guys my normal routine um so this today is a bit different usually when i go to the gym i try to wake up earlier than mila and get myself together so i won't feel like i'm in a rush and just have some woosaw time before going to the gym i'm usually 100 home all the time with mila but the days i go to the gym i get a little free time and i come right back home but um, I just try to make this day usually about myself because usually when we have kids We kind of lose ourselves a little bit and we focus a lot more on them, especially with me that have autism um, My brain is always on go with her. I'm not sure what she's going to do next or what she's going to get into She has been very inquisitive these days um, So I just try to wake up a little earlier than her on these days when I have stuff to do myself um, But I'm not gonna lie other days. I sleep in until she's gets up because I need all the rest I can get. Um, I know a lot of moms like to wake up before the kids and get their stuff together, but most times I do it, but sometimes I don't. And the days I don't wake up before her, I truly regret it because I'm brushing, I'm brushing my teeth, I'm trying to brush her teeth. And if you know, it's so hard to brush her teeth. She hates getting her teeth brushed. I'm like holding her, <laughs> it's a lot. Um, so today's vlog would just be showing some self-care for me and also dealing with Mila in the process and just remembering that we are still human and we still have to take care of our bodies. So I've just made some coffee and I'm gonna get my day started. It is super gloomy outside. I don't even wanna go to the gym, but I have to go. Self-care is very important and Mila is so active that I need to stay healthy and fit as possible because I have to run after her and chase after her and I can't be no old lady and running after her it's just not gonna work so yeah i'm just gonna take this time to wind down a little bit before she wakes up and get my morning started um she's upstairs usually i have a camera down here with me mila's getting older now so now she knows how to open the door she knows how to tug on the door and i will hear her banging and she will wake the whole house up um so yeah join me on my day nothing too exciting just a little self-care just a little mom vlog. So, I'll see you guys soon. Bye, guys. Mila's waking up. Good morning. She's supposed to be in her bed, and she's always in my bed. Why? Good morning. Say good morning. You slept good? What? Mila's. Favorite pouches are these right here. Let's see if she wants it. Want it? You want it? No. Y'all, the way since she is not marble, some of the stuff she do, it be looking real rude, and I'm I'm trying to reroute her from when she doesn't want to eat, like pushing my hand away or kicking my hand away. It's hard. So I'm gonna go ahead and drink my coffee because. I'm gonna take this just like a shot. Drink with a straw so you don't stain your teeth. Cause it's time to get this day started. And Mila wakes up very moody sometimes. And like, she'll take her nap and then she'll wake up a whole new kid. 
You got moose wings already? Dying. <laughs> I'm just kidding. Don't ask me why I hold my nose because if you know espresso straight is so nasty but it gives you the kick of energy you need. I'm about to do my hair and get dressed. Um, and usually I don't have to do anything to Mila's hair because I have it braided up for the week for like therapies and stuff like that. And I love having her hair just braided in individual braids so I don't have to do much to it. But I took it out last night. So I'm going to have to do something to her hair. Um, she's not going anywhere but I still need to do something to it. Um, so yeah, my coffee has kicked in. Because I was getting a little sleepy. I'm not going to lie. I'm like, oh God. It's so gloomy outside. And I don't want to be that person where I'm like, it's raining outside. So I feel like, ugh, just in a funk and I feel sleepy. I'm like, get it together. Get it together. You woke up this morning. So let's get this day started. So yeah, that's what I'm going to do. Um, I am having some lemon water as well. Y'all, I love this flask so much because it keeps my water. Not with the sticker still on it, but I'm sorry. It keeps my water so warm and I mean go back to sleep Maria. It keeps my water so cold. Um and it's actually a hot yoga flask, so when you go to yoga in the steam room your water will stay uh cold and I stole this from my dad. So shout out to you guys, thank you. You probably don't even know I have it. But yeah, let me get my day started. I I don't wanna have to keep running my mouth and chip chatting all day long because I will talk your head off. Bye guys, see you soon. Two seconds later, she decides I'm going to have my pouch. Houseway. Oh, God. We got to do your hair. But these are her favorite yummy pouches. We love them. Good? Yeah. A second pouch down. If you know, you know Mila is super picky about foods. Mm -hmm. So this wouldn't be a typical breakfast for a toddler. But this is kind of like... Her favorite thing to eat, she only eats soft foods. Um, so yeah, this smoothie is pretty much a banana smoothie. It has lots of healthy things in it and a lot of calories. So I'm super happy about that, that I even found these. She's been eating these for a while now. She's watching, watching her cartoon. And I am... Kids got it so good, they don't know how great they have it. They could just lay in bed if they want. Get up if they want. Wake up in the middle of the night. Get fed whenever they want. All her hair stuff here, bath stuff here, and then hair stuff here. I try to keep her stuff super organized. That way life could be easy. So now that I'm going to do her hair, I'll just grab this. And everything's in here. I, didn't, I wasn't always this organized. <laughs> but I learned that life is so much easier when you're organized. Buy them. Also, Mila is not party trained. It has been a struggle. When she goes to ABA therapy, they said that they will help her with potty training. I try to sit her on the toilet, but being nonverbal, and I'm sure it's the way that she would she could tell me, but she just hasn't grasped the concept of like the pot and just everything. So this is incorporated in our morning routine. Just and she gives me a hard time changing her diaper too. I'm like, the bigger she gets, the harder it's gonna get. And I'm just really hoping that I can get her party trained. If you have any tips or tricks, please let me know in the comments below. Um, I've been trying everything, y'all. Everything. So I'm just about to do something really quick to it and wash it when I get back home. It's called balance. Like I said, she's not going anywhere, so this will do. It just needs to be a little neat. Can you say mama? Mama, can you say mama? Look at the camera, look. Good job focusing. Look y'all, she on a move already. You see that? That's why I have to get up before her and do what I have to do. This is Mila's room, a little circle time. I don't even wanna show the other half because it's super junky right now, but realistic moment, she left all these books out yesterday and I didn't pick them up. Um, so yeah. Close the refrigerator for me, please, Mila. Close the refrigerator. Close the refrigerator. Thank you. Mila. 
clothes and refrigerator. All done. Thank you. I am blessed nonetheless and I will see you guys when I get to the gym. Bye guys. All right guys, workout complete. I am super tired. It was definitely a try lunch. I'm about to do a protein shake. Um, and I just packed that with me so when I go home I could just have time to deal with Mila and I don't really have to do nothing but get in the shower. Um, I'm trying to get back in shape because I lost so much muscle, muscle in my legs dealing with Mila at home. Um, when she had her trach and everything, I was just sitting in the bed all day. Um, so it wasn't good for my legs. Um, and I was eating terrible. I was like Uber Eats and DoorDash and everything. It looks so weird in the back with no baby in the car seat. Um, but working out has become very, very therapeutic for me. Um, and like the process of glowing is a lot, but once I'm in, I feel good and it gives me a peace of mind, um, some free time. Um, I love my baby so much, but it's very, very overwhelming sometimes. Um, being in the house 24 7 and with COVID it doesn't help anything hopefully she'll be starting school soon I say that now but I'm like so scared for her to go to school um, but yeah so I'm gonna go home it is still raining outside so that's that put some more hand sanitizer on with COVID and everything I love my gym because sorry got it it might be loud I love my gym because um, there's not a lot of people there I wear my mask the whole time. So yeah, let me go home, go get my baby. Back home, Mila is fully active, getting her balloon. Mila, you wanna eat? Hmm? Oh gosh. Workout and come home to another workout. Y'all look crazy. I will be having to take like 10 minute showers with this little girl. I literally have to take like 10 minute showers. And I wanna take this butt on my head because I don't like my hair being pulled back too much. But like it breaks off my edges. So, I'm home. This is Mila's little sanctuary where she plays. More so not even play, but just terrorize everything. <laughs> yeah, but I'm home, back to mommy mode. If I get some videos, uh, if I get some videos from my trainer when I was working out, I will put them in. You might have already seen them. I might put them in before um, before this clip, if he sends me any. Say hi. Yeah. Say hello. Can you say hi? Yeah. Say hi. You see yourself. Say hi. Oh my gosh. You know you were playing hard. Your hair is not even in a ponytail barely anymore. Dropped everything. Thank you so much. Are we almost done? Yay! You did it. Great job, Mila. All done. Yeah, I've been having a hard time with like putting her to sleep. Mila used to be a great sleeper. She would go to sleep right when she came in the room. I'm now. I don't know. It's a little more challenging putting her to sleep for nap time. When she gets tired, she does knock out. Um, but yeah. What are you guys? Just thoughts on melatonin <sighs> I don't know
If y'all can see, she's climbing on my table. Get down, please. Get down. Get, oh my gosh. It's not funny. And you have my phone. Oh my God. Y'all help me, please. So now I'm about to make a nice cup of tea. Mila is still asleep. So this tea will has a bit more less caffeine than coffee. Um, it is the evening time, so I need a boost of energy before she wakes up because she's gonna wake up and be loaded with energy again. Um, so yeah, I'm making tea and I inserted some clips from um, working out earlier. I was super like struggling, um, but it was a core workout to strengthen my core because I did have a C-section. Um, so you know how once your stomach and belly grows, uh, those m muscles separate and stuff like that. So I'm trying to get that core strength back. Um, and that exercising was also helping with blue skin and stuff like that. I did have a C-section if I didn't mention that. I feel like I did. Um, so yeah, this vlog was kind of like just like a self-care vlog. I wanted to record more, but Mila gave me such a hard time going to sleep that I was just like, calm down, Maria. Um, so yeah, hopefully this video helps someone out that is in need. A realistic mom vlog. Um, when Mila makes up, it's no such thing as chilling with her, so we'll probably be running around. So, as I was saying, I am going to sit here and drink my tea before Mila wakes up and life starts again. Um, we just have to remember the little things. Getting up just a tad bit earlier just to get that peace of mind and that free time. Uh, and yeah, I don't know. I'm learning as I go. Um, and this mom life thing is like real. Even my hair, it's like always in a bun. I wanna start doing more in my hair. I wanna start taking care of me a little bit more and I have one step with going to the gym, so I'm happy about that. Um, and yeah, it's still raining outside. It's still very much gloomy. When Mila wakes up, I'm probably gonna put her in the bath and do her hair. Uh, we are finished therapies for the week, so I'm happy about that. Therapy has become like my job waking up in the morning, getting her ready, taking her to therapy. So when it's the end of the week and it's over, I'm like, no therapies for the rest of the week or whatever the case may be. Um, so yeah, it's the little things like drinking tea alone before your child wakes up. That little bit of me time works. Um, I actually try to go to sleep when she went to sleep and it just, my mind is like pew, 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 I can't sleep. Uh, so yeah, hopefully this video helps someone out. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. And I will see you guys in my next video. Also, comment down below if you want to see a workout video. Um, I'm getting stronger, guys. So I'm happy about that. Alright, see you guys in my next video. Bye!